Hello everyone. As we are looking for investors not only from Latvia, we are giving this presentation in English. I hope everyone, everyone is okay with that. Um, today we had the opportunity of being two of us here. I have uh, asked my colleague groups here for Mars Credits to join me as we are having an uh, upcoming new bond issue and uh, he will give more details about that. Um, I'm a country manager of Mogo in Latvia and uh, this story is about Latvian business we're having uh, right now. Uh, what is Mogo? Uh, we are a finance lease company. Our main business is uh, car financing. Uh, our focus are, is on two products. Uh, one of them is maybe what uh, most of you use, financial lease uh, for a car. Uh, second product, which is 20% uh, of our portfolio is, um, uh, we call it uh, leaseback, and that's a uh, loan against your already owned car. Uh, but technically that means that uh, car ownership is transferred to the Mogo and uh, as in the case with classical finance, uh, finance lease, then um, we are owners and the uh, customer becomes as a user of the car until he covers all the loan we have provided. Uh, in this year, in the first nine months, we have uh, issued 16 millions of new loans. Uh, as I mentioned, 80% is financial lease, meaning that uh, we uh, finance car purchase for ordinary people and uh, we believe that it's a very necessary product for the market as uh, there are a lot of underbank customers uh, in Latvia and uh, that's with a great purpose. Few numbers, uh, I will look together with you on the slide as uh, there are pretty lot of them, but uh, main things I want to mention that uh, totally in the history of Mogo Latvia, during five years, we have issued more than 80 millions of loans. Uh, we are operating with, with a team of 73 people, which we are proud of because uh, that can be called as effective organization, uh, which can be proved with uh, cost to income ratio of 32% as well. And, um, during those five years, we have served more than 80, uh, 28,000 of uh, unique customers, uh, which is a pretty significant number in such a small market. Uh, important thing is uh, default uh, ratio in our portfolio. It's only 3%, uh, which shows that uh, our underwriting model is pretty uh, good. I will tell you a little bit later about how we do that. And the uh, last thing to mention here is that in 2017, uh, in nine months, we have reached revenues in the same level as uh, in 2016. And uh, net profit is the same, uh, almost three million as we did in 2016 during the whole year, which uh, I'm very happy with that result. Uh, if you go further, I think not everybody knows what is the product offering and uh, why people should choose Mogo, not uh, his bank where he's uh, receiving salary. Then the story behind that is uh, in our segment that we are targeting. So uh, these are older cars. Uh, classical finance lease is meant for new cars or few years old cars. However, we don't limit age of the car. And uh, you can see that the statistics that a majority of them are 10 to 15 years old cars, which for some people seems crazy. How can you finance that? But uh, we have developed that knowledge, understanding which car for which customer is the right one. And uh, we're providing the service for the people who need that. A uh, few data, uh, loan amount is uh, capped by 15,000 euros. Uh, which was recently raised. Uh, we used to do it up to 10,000 euros. However, we see that uh, uh, cars become more expensive and uh, even used cars. So 10 years ago, 
five years old BMW was a lot more cheaper than it is now, and uh, customers require more funding. Uh, as usually, it's available for up to six years uh, with uh, uh, monthly payments. So people care about uh, small monthly costs, and uh, that's the reason we are offering such a long period. Uh, in banking sector, I know that uh, some banks limit the age of the car uh, being 15 years uh, after the uh, maturity of the long term. However, we don't do that, and I think that's one of our advantages. As you can see, that average term of loan is 52 months, uh, and average rate uh, or APR, taking account all the costs related to the loan, is 66%, which uh, is a lot. However, we believe that uh, that's the right product for the customer as they are looking for smaller payments, they are looking for all the cars, risks related to that uh, car are higher than financing new cars and we believe that that's the uh, correct approach how to address uh, this segment. Monthly rate, it varies depending on the customer, depending on the car we finance. It can be 2%, it can be 3.10% and uh, it's very uh, depending on the underwriting results we are getting uh, from our model. Uh, you can see that more than 60% uh, of our loans are is amount from 1,000 till 3,000 euros, which is small tickets. Uh, some of uh, us maybe have credit uh, card uh, loan higher than that. However, in our segment, this is a uh, average car, average Latvian is buying, and uh, we have found a solution how to help them to get there. Some people ask, what is the customer? Uh, why don't they go to the bank? And why don't they uh, buy such cheap car with their savings? But um, statistics show that they actually don't have any savings or have limited savings, and they keep them for uh, unpredictable, urgent matters like health issues. And uh, we know that customers uh, prefer buying German brands. Oh, sorry, I, my pointer is not pointing to the slide. But you can see that it's BMWs, Volkswagens and Audis, which uh, are exclusive cars when you buy it new. However, after 10 years, it's the car which still holds its value and drives. If we compare it to the same age of uh, some Korean cars or Italian cars, they most probably are in scrapyards already. And uh, I have heard rumors that Mogo is financing youngsters, but from the graph on the right top corner, you can see that majority actually is family people. They need a car for the uh, same purpose as everybody else needs. They're driving to the job, they need to take kids to the kindergarten, they're all doing uh, stuff where the car helps them. And uh, one more thing which uh, is the uh, thing to mention about customers that they actually have limited credit liability. They have regular income, but sometimes it appears that uh, the income is uh, average with, within the Latvian statistics. So we know that average income is around 500 euros, or if we count some gray incomes, then some people say seven, 700, but nobody knows what's true is that. And uh, that's the segment which is underbanked by banks. And that's where Mogo comes in and helps them to get the car, to get to the job, to get to the kindergarten. And uh, what we see from our partners as we are working through the car, car dealers, then uh, car purchase is mainly emotional. They come, they see the car, they like it, the color or the leather interior, they don't think about such things like how much will I pay for insurance, uh, how many fuel it will consume, uh, how expensive it is to run it, uh, which is in prime segment when people are buying new cars. But uh, this segment they really care about that the car will take them to the specific place and they care about lower monthly payments what they are having with the contract. Uh, all other things come 
as a second. Uh, and that's why the majority of them take the loan for six years or uh, five years. And uh, I have heard that uh, it's not rational uh, thing to do. However, these are people who, it's not the segments who decide is it rational or not. Actually, for them, it's the best way how to uh, handle the need. And you can see that it's mostly male. And uh, that's the market specific that women are becoming more and more as drivers, but uh, we are getting there, not yet there, that we have equality in that manner. Our excellence, I think uh, it's in customer service, as uh, we try to be there where customers need us, and we're available throughout the country, more than 200 points. We have few branches in the biggest cities, but mainly we work through the car dealers. And uh, these can be big car shops and small car sellers who has only three to five cars. And uh, if customer comes to them and they need financing, we are available there, and that's our strength. Uh, one important thing what we try to do, working with our customers and with our partners as well, we always try to serve them on the first time. We, don't, we try not to redirect, not to say we will find out and they will call you back. We try to do it on the same call, which actually indicates like excellent service and uh, people value that and sometimes it's it is more important than a few percent uh, smaller interest rate. Uh, ease of access, that, that's the one thing which kind of goes together with the uh, thing I mentioned before. However, only now we see from banking industry that they are getting with mobile applications, with uh, loans available through the phone, through the call centers. This is something that we have been doing for five years. And uh, we see that all others are trying to pick up the pace, but uh, you know, who is starting first, they have an advantage and uh, we are building our service more and more uh, to be faster, to be more accessible, to be uh, on spot where I decide that I need it. And one thing that I'm proud of as a country manager is only 2% uh, drop rate for calls. Can't customers calls us in with any question. He needs new loan, he needs to understand how much he owes us or when is the payment due, anything he wants to ask. Only 2% of calls are dropped. Uh, last month it's even 1%, but it's not long period, so I didn't put it on the slide. However, this is something that customers value. We can see that for, on, uh, every day. And underwriting part is here. After that, I will switch to this chair and ask Maris to come uh, to talk about financials. However, uh, despite this bu busy slide, I want you to have a glance on left side, which is one part of uh, underwriting, and this is how we evaluate cars. You know that if you want to buy a new car, car dealers uh, make all the stuff for you. However, if you are buying one-year-old car or two-year-old car, you are forced to go to get evaluation of the car, independent, it should be in a specific place. That's the requirement we are used to have. However, what Mogo does, we do it our, by our own, in-house, automatically. And we're using lots of databases, uh, state-owned uh, database of a car register. Uh, everybody knows such a thing like a uh, web portal where you can input uh, weekly the identification number and get the history. That's what we use. All the sales portals in specific country, in Latvia it's only two, everybody knows them. Uh, accidents databases. So all the information about the car, what we can get, we use that for evaluation. And uh, evaluation actually is instant. If we receive all the data about the car, it can be uh, state register data, which uh, registration plate, uh, or uh, vehicle identification number. So it, it's a matter of seconds when you get the answer how much financing you can get for that specific car. Of course, that's related to the, your credit score as a person who is a client. And then comes second part, which we uh, 
uh, have developed together with the Estonian company big data scoring. Uh, when we used all the data in Mogo, what we have, that was more than 200 items of uh, uh, sheet, uh, sorry, of column names of data, and uh, they helped us to build a scoring model. Uh, time has passed, we have um, improved with that already. And we are using now our own in-house scoring model, which is even more advanced, uh, to understand customer profile, to uh, understand his pr prior debts, his payment system to other lenders, uh, his income, his liabilities, uh, personality, and all the data you can imagine what uh, can be used in scoring. For instance, even the provider of cell coverage, is it one or another, depends actually on the score of the customer. Um, and vehicle sellers check. Uh, that's one thing that we have proved that it's important because some sellers sell good cars, some not so good. Uh, some import them directly from Germany with good credit, uh, history, some try to make more business importing from neighbor countries, repairing them here and doing that kind of business. But still, customer decides which car he wants to buy, and uh, we are ready to help him uh, to get the car of his dreams. And sometimes when people ask me what I am doing in my daily life, I'm saying I'm fulfilling people's dreams, because it has changed, but uh, in my childhood, and uh, for me personally, car is something great. It's not just a tool, it's a car. And uh, I know that few of you most probably understand what I'm saying with that. I guess it's time for financials. I will ask Maris to come to tell. I will be right there for your questions afterwards, so please ask them. All right. Thank you, Alexons. Uh, cognizant of the time constraints, I'll try to be brief on the financials and maybe uh, touch upon slightly on the, on the group. Uh, so the financially, although Mogo Latvia is a five years old company, we are still a very rapidly growing company. Uh, like Alexans mentioned, our net income and net profit is uh, during the nine months of 2017 is at the same level as it was last year. Uh, our net loans, uh, net loans portfolio is 35 million. Uh, we do fund, for the most part, our operations by public bonds, uh, for which uh, I'll, I'll mention that in a, in a later slide. Uh, what is also very important is the significant amount of uh, total equity in the company, so 10 million of, in a total equity in the form of share capital and accumulated profits. Also, a key, key ratio for the most of our bondholders would be the interest coverage ratio, uh, which we are able to increase with every measurement period. Uh, further on, on the portfolio of financial highlights, so uh, maybe, maybe putting all this picture together, so it's very interesting to see what, what does our loan portfolio would look like, uh, maybe serving these underserved customers, financing the used cars. So as you can see here, net loan portfolio, 80% uh, of our loan portfolio, our net loan portfolio is current, 15% uh, is overdue uh, by uh, one or 30 days. And we virtually have no, uh, no loans overdue more than 30 days in our net loan portfolio. Uh, a few highlights here on the revenue. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, very rapidly growing uh, uh, revenue and net profit. Uh, cost to income ratio, this we have been able to improve with, uh, with every period. So this speaks to our uh, very efficient and lean operations that we, we are running. Uh, again. Uh, interest coverage ratio uh, should be very comfortable to see that for, for most of our bondholders. Um, all right, so here's the slide on the Mogo Latvia notes. So currently we have 20 million of uh, Mogo bonds issued in the, in the NASDAQ uh, regulated market. Uh, all of the 20 million of bonds have been sold. Uh, we, ha we do have a very wide range of both bondholders, both professional and private investors. Uh, the coupon rate is 10% monthly, paid out monthly, with a maturity of 30, 31st of March 2021. Uh, so, in line with the increased demand from our bondholders and uh, with our own ambition to actually uh, grow the portfolio further, uh, maybe add potentially new products to the portfolio, uh, we have decided to increase the, to 
uh, to essentially uh, issue a new private placement of 10 million of uh, bonds. Uh, what is key here is that all the covenants, all the key aspects of, the, of this issue are pretty much tied to the first one. Uh, so the same coupon rate paid out monthly, same sinking funds, funds provision uh, starting in June 2019, same maturity date, 31st of March in 2021. And uh, uh, maybe a, a slight difference here is that this bonds issue will be, ge will be geared uh, towards the professional investors. So hence the subscri minimum subscription amount of uh, 100,000 euro, uh, right? So maybe uh, a slight glance of, uh, uh, maybe not, not anyone here or everyone here would, would actually know this, but uh, Mogul Latvia is only a tip of the iceberg, uh, actually a part of a bigger group. Uh, so here's the slide and uh, of all the countries that we actually operate in. As you can see, uh, currently we do operate in nine markets. Uh, our, our key home markets are Baltics and Georgia, uh, but we have actually quite recently just entered in uh, five more markets. Those are being Poland, Romania, uh, Bulgaria, Moldova, Armenia. What is key here is you can definitely, you, you will see and notice that we are entering the markets which are very heavily underserved uh, from the banking sector. So uh, the, the population needs to, so the consumer demand is there. It is just not being served by the banks. The banks are very inefficient in those markets. And uh, hence we step in here and we actually do open up the, the credit market for these customers. Uh, a slide on our historical growth. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, Mogo um, was founded in Latvia in 2012. So although we, do, we are only a five years old company, so in a sense, you can think of a, as, a, as a startup company, but none of the ratios are actually do look like a startup company. Uh, so we, hit, we do have a 90 million of net loan portfolio. Our, uh, we are profitable for at least three years. And uh, I mean, uh, th this is something you would see in a, in a, in a very mature uh, company. Uh, a very, very kind of a, a big achievement of our uh, employees and the group as such is, is the fact that we are able, we have been able to launch four countries in, uh, in, in just uh, in this year. Uh, so this is, this is almost like a launching four new companies uh, in, in one year, uh, which for the most companies is unheard of. Uh, right, a uh, slight uh, snapshot of the Mogo group. So in the group we have more than 200 employees. Uh, since inception we have issued more than 300 million of loans. Uh, and served uh, more than 80,000 of uh, customers. Uh, we are currently in the nine markets. We have at least uh, five markets in, at least five new markets in different stages of development. So we, we are not stopping at the nine markets. Uh, this is definitely just the starting point. Uh, and uh, few, few, few comments on the financials. Uh, we have a net, loan, net, uh, net profit of uh, seven million. Uh, which has been uh, uh, made in, uh, in the first nine months of 2017. Uh, we do have the same interest income as we have, uh, as we made in, uh, in the last year of almost 30 million. And our group net loan portfolio is close to 90 million. Uh, hopefully we should reach uh, 100 million by end of this year. Um, and uh, maybe uh, again, a repetition of uh, financial highlights. Uh, as you can see the, the progression, the very rapid growth of the company so uh, the group, group wise, we were still a uh, kind of loss making uh, company in 2015. We have managed to turn, turn around that very rapidly. And uh, we made already 6 million in 2016. And in 2017, first nine months, it's already more than that. And uh, you can just imagine the potential there. And of course, cost to income ratio, which is uh, a testimony to our very, very, very super lean uh, operations. And every new country we add to our infrastructure actually pretty much contributes to the uh, bottom line directly and uh, actually falls into the equity of the company. Right, and here's the closing slide. If you or anyone else has any, uh, any interest to invest in the Mogo Latvia directly or Mogo Group, feel free to contact uh, me directly. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Paldies. Uh, faktiski mums vajadzētu jau iet uz uh, nākamo prezentāciju, bet varbūt mēs varam vienu jautājumu, ja kādam šobrīd zālē ir. 
Uh, you mentioned uh, three percent uh, of a default rate. That's that's an, uh, seems like a good number in uh, considering the segment you are working in. Could you please uh, slightly elaborate uh, about the method you calculated? As you said, uh, fifteen percent is is overdue, and then mm -hmm. how do you get to three percent? Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, so actually, to maybe uh, to go back in, uh, to the actual slide, so the 3% is not our default rate, it's the number of default uh, or the fraction of the defaulted loans in our net, net loan portfolio. The default rate is actually higher, uh, but uh, due to the collateral that we have due to very efficient debt collection, uh, we recover actually most of the debt in the, in the debt recovery process. So uh, hence we have only 3% of defaulted loans as a category in our uh, total net loan portfolio. So the default rate is higher, uh, but, uh, but with the collateral, the collection, we managed to get that down. Okay, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, sure. If anyone does have additional questions, then we've got your contact details there. And uh, certainly good luck with your, with your plan, new emission as well. Okay.